Minutes, like the way you party. Yeah. So your character likes it being whoa. Oh. <laughs> Rama's. Yes, yeah, see. That you? Was it, you know Rama's mom's name is Rama. Oh, I didn't know that. Boom. <laughs> now you found your intro line. <laughs> Go. Go. Your character does he like being human better than the being zombie? I'm just I'm confused. Like which one is being one of you? Sorry, are those glasses recording? Uh. They are. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> Alright, focus, Bert. Okay, uh, does Mage like a zombie or a human? I mean, judging by his response when he got turned the first time, yeah. I would say a human. He's such an, like, all-American cookie-cutter guy. I gotta say, he's probably more of a human type. But then again, he's an athlete, and, you know, I'm sure the fact that he can rage out and, like, sprint super fast and jump really high is also a fan of. But I'm just gonna weigh in and say human. What do you think is going to be the biggest challenge for him moving from where we stop in three into four? I, if I had to guess, I would say it'll be the division between the people not seeing eye to eye on whether film or race is in the right or the wrong. I think we're going to find Liv and Major on opposite sides of that. And I, I think it's like politics with a family member or a loved one, you know, where you stand on opposite sides of an issue and you're like, oh, this is the worst because I love you and I respect you, but I think what you're saying is so dumb. Or I just don't agree with <laughs> You know, I, I don't really know the specifics of their situation yet, but I would I would say it's going to be the contentious nature that's created by what's happening. What about for the team as a whole? Do you think it's going to be like a big uh, challenge moving forward? Do you think it's that as well, or do you think it's going to be I do. individual? No, I, I really do. I think it's going to be sort of the way that they view... I think it's going to be like Fillmore Graves' way, you know, like whether you view it that way or, or you, you disagree with it. I mean, I know there's going to be people like, you know, being smuggled. I, I think, but I think it will be like, do you stand with them or against them? I think that'll be the sort of broad stroke dividing line. And I, I have no idea how broad the characters are going to fall on it because we don't know whether Robbie's going to be a zombie or a human. We know Clive isn't a zombie, but his loved one is. Allie isn't a zombie, but she works for him. Liv is, but she's already sort of not sided with Fillmore Graves. And we know Major's all in for Fillmore Graves. So we basically have like one who's definitely pro, one that's definitely, or seems like con, and the rest are kind of in that middle ground. So I don't know what kind of alliances will pop up. I didn't look like about C, situations, yeah, full situation after the new zombies coming. Say again? Can you talk about, about the city, Seattle situation after the zombies coming? Yeah, you, I mean, y'all might know about as much as I do on that one. New Seattle, they're calling You know, they built a wall around Seattle, and in the three months since we left the show, there was a mass exodus of people leaving who didn't want to be in the walled-in city with the zombies. But... And what we're finding is that there's not enough brains to go around. There's not enough brains that uh, as Gilmore Graves had expected there would be. So there's not enough, there's really not enough food to go around. And also there's a lot of people who are trying to come in to Seattle because they're you know, dying of a terminal illness and they want to be saved. So I think really what it boils down to is there's a ton of conflict. It's a powder keg. People are, zombies are hungry, humans don't feel safe, zombies don't feel safe. So I think it's very tense, it's a very kind of delicate situation, very volatile situation. Because you know very little about the season, um, do you think, or would you like to see, I mean, it seems like it's going to be concentrating on that division and how they're going to, you know, where they're going to end up going, but um, definitely many kind of special guests that you would like to see, or a nice romantic partner, because it looks like you don't have live. so... I, when we had our writers meeting on Wednesday, I, uh, I asked, like, what's up? Do you have a love interest that maybe is not going to get exploded? And... They said, I don't, I don't know whether, I know Liv and Major start off casually dating, but I don't think that gets to last long. But I think there's a shot of Major finding some love or affection. If, if we could talk about love, he had a ch chance, narrow chance of escaping with yes. Natalie. What would he be doing if he did escape three months from now? Major with Natalie in Italy or whatever. Probably tanning. Very <laughs> short swim trunks. Very short shorts. <laughs> eating a lot of olives. And 
probably, you know, uh, on a sailboat, fathering uh, many uh, a child with that. It would be a terrible life. <laughs> so terrible. Thank you. Thank you all so much.